I need my food, and I need it fast. Welcome back to Hive Mind Unlimited. Fast food, that greasy, oily, convenient slop. Today we're gonna decide once and for all, what's the best fast food? Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Before we get into it, drop your favorite fast food down in the comments. Let us know what we forgot. And also Patreon, Cameo, all that stuff is linked in description. Let's do this. Let's go! 64 fast food places, bracket style. Let's go. <laughs> First matchup is an absolute wash. We've got McDonald's versus Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr., baby. <laughs> what is Carl's Sr.? They got the sexy commercials. They got sexy commercials? You don't remember Paris Hilton? No. Paris Hilton's like soap washing a truck. I guess you always wash your car with soap, but she's like in a bikini. She's eating a big Carl's bur burger. Ow. You don't remember those commercials? I think it was a Super Bowl commercial. No. Carl's Jr. is like a thing I don't even really believe exists. Uh huh. <laughs> like I kind of remember it as like a thing, but I've never heard of anybody getting it or eating it. It literally just, really, you like Carl's it. Jr.? Yeah, they got them at like uh, the turnpike stops. Yeah, the plazas, the convenience plazas. Uh huh. Carl's Jr. slash Hardee's. I don't like either of them. I think we go McDiesel's easy. Here. McDiesel's has fed me and kept me alive many a year. I mean, McDonald's is all like the veins of America. Yeah. Yeah, tra well, the, it's clogging the veins of America as well, but okay. <laughs> Travis Scott burger, BTS meal. I mean, there's a lot of star power here. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, Carl's Jr. symbol is kind of a star, but yeah. All right, now we've got Raising Cane's versus Arby's. I mean, you're gonna go Cane's here. You love chicken strips. I'm a caniac. I think there's a lot to be <laughs> said about Arby's though. Go ahead. Roast beef. They have roast beef, but like, whatever. Nowhere else has roast beef. It's pretty quality. The beef and cheddar is like nacho cheese machine cheese. Yeah. Just ooh. Oozed on a bunch of thinly sliced <laughs> beef and apple strudels and Jamocha shakes. Yeah, they do have like unique items yeah. there, sure. But Raising Cane's is like top tier mm -hmm. chicken fingers and fries. And they've got what, one of my favorite things, which is like a small menu. Yes. You only get like five different combos there. That's it. The only way to serve more people is to not allow them to deliberate any longer. Yeah. They don't have to read it. So, do I want chicken or do I want chicken and fries? Or do I want chicken fries and toast? Yeah. <laughs> it's fast food, yeah. like really fast. Yeah. And you can damn near take a date there. Yeah, it's nice. It's you know a what I mean? fun like, place to be. Like you and me are gonna go to Raising Cane's and that's like a little bit of an event. If we're going to Arby's, it's like, I hope no one sees us. Yeah, we gotta get the Arby's, we gotta go back and we gotta turn on the Xbox mm -hmm. and smoke weed. Yeah, and squeeze that cheese and just see where it lands. <laughs> Raising Cane's? Raising Cane's. Quiznos versus In-N-Out. Quiznos is dead, isn't it? Yeah, I don't even know if Quiznos exists anymore and it shouldn't. It's like a really bad sub place. I, yeah, I remember good subs from there back in the day. I remember multiple times going to Quiznos and eating a sub from there and being like, no. No. Uh-uh. Like, it's not as good as Jimmy John's. It's not as good as Subway, even. Your mascot as a food restaurant, just like standard protocol, should never be a rodent, either. They have a rodent as a mascot? They had like hamsters. Quiznos did? It was like a Kia Soul equivalent. You remember so much more about fast food culture than I do. I don't remember these commercials. I grew up broke. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I wasn't going to J. Alexander's every night. You know what I mean? <laughs> was, I've been to J. Alexander's like twice in my life. One of them was graduation. I I haven't been to J. Alexander's, you know what I mean? Jesus. Everyone knows J. Alexander's. This is where the savage is time. Yeah. Uh, first of all, it's pronounced J. Alexander's. J. Alexander's. <laughs> In-N-Out's fun though. It's, it's a little overrated, like yes. because people travel across the country and they go, I have to go to In-N-Out. Mm -hmm. But they do have really thick receipt paper. Yeah, Patrick Bateman would appreciate it. Sometimes I eat In-N-Out and then I get the receipt paper and I'm like, damn, I might eat this too. Yeah. You know? <laughs> In-N-Out. In-N-Out. Now we got Church's Chicken versus Dairy Queen. <laughs> I like Church's Chicken. Chicken. Dairy Queen's chicken might be better than Church's chicken. I don't know. I guess I haven't had Church's in a while, but I remember when I was a kid, when I had Church's for the first time, I was in like seventh grade or something, yeah. and I was like, damn, this is some greasy ass chicken. Yeah, it is. It's like Popeye's degenerate little brother who spent time in the pen. I'm going Dairy Queen here. The ice cream's really good. Their chicken is solid, and you can buy whole cakes there. I'm going Church's. Grant, what are you doing? I'm going Dairy Queen. All right, DQ. Now we got Domino's versus Dunkin' Donuts. Domino's, shout out Michigan. Believe it started in Ann Arbor. Really, Domino's did? I think so. I think the founder is from Ann Arbor. Their mascot used to be a, the little Tinker Bell, but she was ripped and she would she was on a longboard. Really? One of those automatic longboards that you don't have to push. Man, that really makes me want to like it. I didn't know any of that. Yeah, it's very cheap. They invented the car with like the little oven in there, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. Fast delivery, cheap, awful pizza though. <laughs> Just 
<laughs> I've gotten some of the worst pies of my life from Domino's. Right. All that bad stuff you said about Domino's, at <laughs> least they don't serve sour coffee. Come on. Dunkin' Donuts is terrible. They have some other stuff that I like. Like, mm-hmm. I like their little their little treats and stuff. <laughs> they have cute little treats. Yeah. But their coffee is downright terrible. Yeah, like, I would good. not drink it even if you paid me to drink it. I used to get the gallon bucket of coffee from there when we lived in the trap house. I remember that. Yeah, I would suck down one of those at about 2 p.m. every day. Yeah, <laughs> I was so down bad back then, I drank that shit too. Yeah. I would drink Dunkin' back then. Mm-hmm. But I'm going Domino's. I'm going Dunkin' Donuts. You can't even eat pizza. I can't eat pizza. There's going to be a lot of stuff on here I yeah, can't eat. I true. just got to go with what I like. I'm going with double D's. I'm taking double D's as well. All right, Dunkin' Bazoombas. Donuts. Bazoombas. Now we got <laughs> Piata versus Hardee's. Okay. People might not know what Piata is, so let me explain. Piata is like Italian Chipotle. Yeah, it's fast casual. You go in, you pick your noodle, and then you pick your toppings and stuff, and you they'll fry up a little prosciutto, a little beef, a little pork, whatever you want, and then all the veggies you want in there. But the main thing is like the wrap, the piata. Yeah, you can get like a spaghetti burrito. There. Well, that's what that is. That's the yeah. main, that's what the piata is called. Yeah. You go in and like, oh, I want this piata, and you get like a little flatbread thing that's like a wrap, and there's like pasta and stuff mm-hmm. in it. But it's not like terribly unhealthy. Like it sounds like it's gonna be very unhealthy, but it kind of has like, its shtick is that it's supposed to be kind of classy. And Hardee's is like Carl's Jr. on steroids. It's yeah. like two patty melts squished together and like four Paris Hilton spitting in your mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna go Piata here. I'm going Piata too. Now we got Jollibee versus KFC. Okay, I love the Jollibee mascot here. I've never had it myself. I believe it's Filipino fast casual. It is, yeah, yeah. it's West Coast mostly. Yeah, it's West Coast. I've never had Jollibee either, so it's gonna be tough for me to pick that. Mm-hmm. But I know a lot of people speak highly of it. They say it's the best fast food. I see it on the rankings all the time. And KFC kind of invented the first fast food atrocity with the, the bowl. The what? The bowl, you remember? Oh, I thought you were gonna be talking about the thing where they made the, the chicken, the bread, and the bacon in the middle. Again, that another. That thing's messed up too. I loved that. I kind of like the experimenting they're doing though. Exactly. It's kind of like they put some stoners in the kitchen and were like, come up with whatever. We'll yeah. just put it out there. KFC's kind of like the Taco Bell of chicken, if that makes yeah, sense. Like they're yeah. like, the rules are off. I'm gonna go with KFC though, just because I've had it and yeah. I don't feel right picking Jollibee, although they do have the cutest little mascot. It is very cute. Um, weird thing about KFC too, when I drive by it now, they'll say like $8.99 new special for one thigh and some fries. Yeah, it's weird. It is weird. How's that a deal? I don't know. You get one piece of chicken and a side and it's literally like $10. Inflation, baby. Marco's Pizza versus Burger. Burger King. Shout out Marcos, bro. Toledo, Ohio. Not a lot of people know about it, but God damn is that good. And I'm I'm missing the slice right I now. I love Marcos Pizza. Burger King sucks ass. Yeah. Like, <laughs> even their chicken fries, which I agree is like kind of their crown jewel I over at Burger King. I used to smoke those. Yeah, I used to smoke those too. <laughs> yeah. Everybody smoked them. There's something really weird about Burger King. It's like everything that is supposed to be savory on their menu tastes just the tiniest bit sweet. I will give Burger King this. I will give the king his flowers on the breakfast menu. Oh, I heard that. I've heard that it's good, yeah. That mf can whip up some beef fast. Kind of in the vein of chicken fries, they have like French toast sticks. Yeah, those are those are gas. Yeah. Absolute slappers, uh-huh. and they had a croissant witch. That raises the question, why the fuck would you call yourself Burger King mm-hmm. <laughs> if breakfast is the best thing you do? Yeah. I don't know, but this is- dr- I'm the king of burgers? If French toast sticks are your special, then don't call yourself the fucking Burger King. Take a breath, buddy. It's just Stupid. a fast food bracket. It's just like bullshit. Though. I know, we're going with Marco's though, it's fine. Taco Bell versus Steak Escape. <laughs> Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, Taco Bell, we'll get into how great they are later in the later rounds, but Steak Escape is funny. Yeah, it's like <laughs> something you see in the mall, yeah. and you see someone else eating it, and you're like, eh, good for them. I've had a Philly cheesesteak from there back I in the day. I think I have too, but like fast casual Philly cheesesteaks are like another. Yeah, you, you don't, don't have don't. to. They do have greasy ass, really good fries though. They do. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go Taco Bell. Yep. Pizza Hut versus Popeyes. I fucking hate hate Pizza Hut. I hate the yeah. atmosphere and I hate it and I, I I despised families that dined there. Oh, did not like them either. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I can smell their house by looking at them. Yeah, I feel you. And it stinks like cat piss and cigarettes. It's like they put like a a sweet, disgusting, trailer trash twist on something we all love. Yeah, Pizza Hut is like bottom of the barrel pizza, bottom of the barrel atmosphere. Pretty much everything about Pizza Hut is disgusting. Yeah, it's bad, it's sketchy, it's gross. And Popeyes is fire. Popeyes is fun, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Louisiana fast, you know, love that chicken from Popeyes, yeah. Long John Silver's versus Panda Express. Panda (laughs) Express bangs. I have never had it because I'm allergic to Chinese food. It is very good. It is like a nice, uh, one of those illusions, you know? You're like, 
oh, this might be kind of healthy. And it's like sugary deep fried chicken. Yeah. It's like if you put Popeyes and candy syrup and then put it on rice with like a little green onion on it. <gasps> and Long John Silver's is like a sketchy. It's like an atrocity. Like it shouldn't exist. And I don't think it exists for the right reasons. I think yeah. there's something going on behind the curtain over there. Yeah. There's no way they're selling little fish nuggets to people. And I know some people are like, oh, but the clam strips. And I'm like, stop. Don't even say the words clam strips. Yeah. I have <laughs> friends and I'm not going to out them on here because that's not fair. But I have friends who were like, I used to beg my parents to take me through Long John Silver's. And I was like, your family is falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I went as far as eating a filet -O fish from McDonald's as a child, but right. it did not convert me to such a sick fucking freak that I would then want to go to a fast food place that exclusively serves stuff from the sea. I'm not convinced it's from the yeah, sea. Yeah, no, I don't think so. And the smell. Imagine working there. Oh, oh. I'd rather get stoned in public. <laughs> With rocks, I mean, not like hollow. Oh, oh, okay, right. Now we got, <laughs> yes, Schlotzky's versus El Pollo Loco. Shout out Schlotzky's. No one's going to really know that one. It's like a Polish kind of chain, maybe. I literally don't even know. I just know the name's funny. Every bite lots better. <laughs> That's what it says. I'm not even joking. It says every bite lots better. And I've had El Pollo Loco when we were in LA mm -hmm. and it's very good. They have like tacos and burritos. They also have like regular just chicken stuff. Like yeah. it's, it's just focused around chicken. But I went there with Ben. I liked it quite a bit. I'll ride the Loco train here, but Schlotzky's is, it's close. I almost want to go with it, but I think I've only had it once. Mm. And I don't know if my memory serves me well enough to really do it. I'm going crazy chicken. All right, now we got Sheets versus Subway. Sheets! Oh, Sheets is so good. If you don't know what Sheets is, it's like a gas station with a touch screen where you can get anything your heart desires. <laughs> it is awesome. It's, it's really open good. so late. Yeah. You can just stay at a Holiday Inn in a random little city and just sheet yourself to bed. <laughs> I want to ride for Subway because I do think it's underrated, mm -hmm. but Sheets is way better than Subway. Like, I'm going to yeah. go with Sheets, but I will give Subway its flowers. I think it's overhated. I think it's just, it's fine. It's good. I do love the surf and turf from there. They don't. <sighs> it's a tuna sub with meatballs on it. Uh, That's right. surf and turf, baby. <laughs> Look it up. Tim Hortons versus Little Caesars. <sighs> Pizza, pizza. <laughs> there is one official pizza of the NFL, and it's not fucking Tim Hortons. <laughs> the hot and ready is a revolutionary design. Oh, yeah. I mean, it changed everything. The game is no longer the same. A $5 pizza sounds insane right now. I, it, 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 not only is it $5, it's ready right now. Like the pizza you want that you're envisioning, <laughs> they already cooked. It. It's <laughs> sitting there waiting for you. Also, though, I will say, you know, Tim Hortons, Canada, got to give respect. It's named after like an old NHL player or something. Yeah. Timmy Hose. Timmy Hose. I mean, is yeah, fun. it's amazing to go into Timmy Hose. I like their coffee kind of. It's all right. But they have the little Timbits. They have Timbits. They have crawlers. Yeah. They oh. have some decent stuff. They do have some really good breakfast stuff. But... And you know what? Their lunch menu is kind of slept on, too. Yeah. You can get like a grilled panini, turkey club kind of fast deli sandwich there. Yeah. Tim Hortons is versatile and good. Yeah. But Little Caesars is just culturally too important. Now we got Wingstop versus Bojangles. Bojays versus Rick Ross's joint? Yeah. Wow. You know where I'm going. I mean, Bojays is funny. And yeah. I, I wanted the sponsorship from Bojays for a long time. Obviously, like, I would still take it. Yeah. And hopefully they don't see this video. Yeah. But <laughs> Wingstop, I regularly eat. I think yeah. they have great wings. Much better than B-dubs. I love <laughs> the Louisiana rub. I love the lemon pepper. Uh -huh. And their fries are really good. Their atomic sauce is crazy. It's yeah. like actually a really good super hot sauce. I'm going to go Wingstop too, but Bojay's is like my favorite logo like of all time. I love how it looks. It literally could be like a carnival store. Yeah. It looks so fun. Yeah. Like it just draws you in. You're like, oh shit, what's going to happen? Yeah. <laughs> now we got Boston Market versus Culver's. Boston. <laughs> Culver's is my favorite thing that's ever happened to this country. <laughs> Personally, I remember my first time going. I pretty much remember every time I've been to Culver's is like ingrained in my mind as like some of my top memories ever. Can you describe what Culver's is? Because there's no way people here, everybody watching knows what Culver's is. I believe it started in Wisconsin. Think of Chick-fil-A as it was a burger joint. It's polite. It's clean. The burgers are fresh. They are buttery. They are delicious. They have a concrete mixer, which is like a hard, old-fashioned kind of malt ice cream drink. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. The quality of burgers there, like the Burger King should go take notes from Culver's. But cheese curds. Don't che forget cheese curds. That's like their main thing. I can't not get a big old bag of curds. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I can't even have cheese anymore, and I have broken edge to eat cheese curds from Culver's. They yeah. have the nicest little pie. 
pop bite cheese curd boom 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 you go and <laughs> eat a school you go and get a double butter burger a large cheese curd they have crinkle fries for fuck's sake yeah that's true <laughs> with a smile you get that and you get a fucking root beer and if you got the fucking guts you get a concrete mixer to wash it all down Boston Market get fucked yeah who am I gonna go get like a rotisserie chicken from a fast food place boiled no, chicken with like over steamed broccoli and like canned corn I could shoot myself in the leg and get a better meal at the hospital <laughs> than I could pay for at Boston fucking market. Chick-fil-A versus Firehouse Subs. <laughs> is everyone gonna know what Firehouse Subs is? I don't know, it is it is what it sounds like. It's a sub place that they make all of the restaurants, the brick and mortars look like fire stations. Yeah, it's a fireman themed sub shop. Yeah, it sucks. And I believe like, it doesn't suck. It sucks. They give a portion of their money to fire departments. I don't give a shit about that. <laughs> I think the world would be a better place if we burned down all the Firehouse Subs. <laughs> their subs are pretty good. No, their subs are bland. There's no flavor. It's zero seasoning. It's literally like you could go to the grocery store and get a pack of turkey mm -hmm. and eat that plain and yeah. it'd be better than eating a sub. <laughs> it is kind of like a slow Jimmy John's. All right, now we got Sabaro versus Jimmy John's. I got a real beef with Sabaro. What's your deal? I don't know. It's just weird and it's gross. I mean, it's weird and gross like the places that it exists, like the mall food court and yeah. those travel plazas we were talking about. Yeah, I've never seen a standalone Sabaro. Honestly, they should spend more on packaging. Their packaging is made out of like thin paper. Yeah. It's like, and it's triangle shaped. Like they've got like, you get the greasiest pizza of pizza of all time inside a triangle box. And the box is flimsier than the pizza itself. It's it like, often, doesn't make any sense. It often falls right through. That's what I mean. Like I've seen people, more people drop Sabaro pieces of pizza than eat them. And I like some things from Jimmy John's. Yeah, Jimmy John's is great. Their yeah. beach club was fire back in the day. The beach club. And the bread. The bread is really nice. I love Jimmy John's. I think it's really good. Free smells. Freaky fast. Now we got Checkers versus Jack in the Box. Ugh, why do these have to go against each other? These both <laughs> suck ass. Big Buford. Oh, I forgot about your whole Checkers scam that you did. Big Buford. And the two dollar chicken box. Oh, that's true. The two dollar chicken box, it doesn't make any sense. It's literally <laughs> a rectangle and it has chicken and fries in the same box for two dollars. Like you could go up to the drive through at Checkers with eight gumballs in your hand and say these and they say yes. Yeah. And they give you a two dollar chicken box. <laughs> and it's the same price. And don't think about going in because you can't. No, no. It has bulletproof glass around the entire <laughs> outside of it. And there's a lot of people in the parking lot. Yeah. People are chilling <laughs> in the parking lot yeah. at Checkers. It's weird. But and I used to do a scam where if you purchase like a large drink or something and you had a one-time code and you just showed them, you could get a free Big Buford, which is their disgusting excuse for a hamburger. Yeah, named after William Buford, <laughs> a Toledo, Ohio native and Ohio State basketball star, it's, William Buford, everybody. But you could just show that same text to the, you know, the careless employees at a checker and they'd go, okay, give him a burger. You used to take it there every day and get, when you were really down bad, you would get a Big Buford every day for free. I'd have 87 cents in my account and I'd eat like a fucking king. <laughs> Jack in the Box is one of the worst places I've ever been in my entire life. I do like their deranged mascot. Me too. He's awesome. He, no joke, does like terrorism in their mm. ads. It's super crazy. Yeah, he blows up offices of CEOs. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Which is awesome and rebellious <laughs> and uh, against the system, which is stuff that I like, but their food is so nasty. They should not serve like two tacos in a combo with chicken fingers and a burger. Like, yeah. It's like they're trying to kill their audience. <laughs> like, they're trying to kill their customers. I think they're saying something with the mascot. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Checkers. Let's go, Checks. Now we got Sonic versus Shake Shack. So we got Sonic, which is the one with the rollerblades and the drive up. It's kind of like supposed to be like a 70s and 80s situation over there. And then they also, Shake Shack, which is like the new sleek burger place that is like good, but not good enough to justify the whole like fancy restaurant neon sign vibe they're going for. Culver's does it better. Yeah, Culver's Cul has better food than Shake Shack. And it plays into like the history of fast food. It's not trying to, oh, we're sick and we're in the bottom of like a bank building and like in a downtown Shake Shack. Like Shake Shack is pretentious. It should get fucked and Sonic is cool and retro. Yeah, but I feel like we're going with vibe here over food. Sonic has tater tots that are good. Tater tots and, and they have slushies, big... but their food is really bad. Like today, if I'm sitting on my phone, yeah. okay, and I'm looking at food to order mm -hmm. and the only two options were Sonic and Shake Shack, I'm getting Shake Shack. Yeah, but Shake Shack's like 40 bucks. Money ain't a thing to me. Oh, swag. I like the vibe of Sonic more, but the food is better at Shake Shack and I have to go with them for that reason. I'm riding Sonic here for the slushies in the past that I've spiked. Experience is a big thing with you. It's huge. Grant? I have a hit out for Shake Shack right now. 
Last Fuck. time I went, I got a chicken sandwich for like 10 bucks, and it was like a nugget between two buns. And I was like, this is ridiculous. I'm, I'm going with Sonic. Okay, Sonic it is. Don't fuck with them for that reason. You don't mess with my guy Grant like that. Yeah, so. you just don't. Now we got Mr. Beast Burger versus Zaxby's. <laughs> really surprised, like, you get reminded of how many variations of chicken joints there are. Yeah. <laughs> Zaxby's is really solid. I don't know if I had Zaxby's. I'm trying to remember. It's like Raising Cane's. For those out there that don't know, mm. it's a Raising Cane's equivalent. I think it might have a bit of a wider menu and Mr. Beast Burger, I don't know, in five years, Mr. Beast is gonna be in jail. So <laughs> I'm going with Zaxby's, classic, harmless. I'm gonna go with Mr. Beast Burger big time because I've had it and it was better than I expected it to be. That's fair, I'm going Zaxby's. I'm taking Mr. BB, baby. Mr. Beast Burger. You guys are just afraid to speak out. What if he gives us like a hundred grand? See what I mean? You're just afraid. I'm not afraid, I'm hopeful. I'm optimistic. Yellow bellied. Yeah, it's a phrase I'm gonna bring back. Okay. Yellow belly. All right, well. Thank you for everything you do, Jimmy. Fuck off, Jimmy. Big fan of you and your videos. Kidoba versus White Castle. Kidoba, kind of like a Chipotle knockoff, but I think it's been around for about the same time. And their mm -hmm. whole shtick now is kind of against Chipotle saying the guac isn't extra. But I will say it is comparable food, not as tight of a menu, but I rock with some of the food that I've had at Kidoba yeah. and some of not. Like it's like a hit or miss situation over there. White Castle is a miss all the way through. It's an abomination. That place sucks. It's kind of so bad that it's funny now though. Oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> like it's funny that they do the Valentine's Day shit. They yeah. may, like you can make reservations for Valentine's Day at White Castle. Like <laughs> they put out tablecloths and shit. You're eating like uncooked onion and raw beef mixed <laughs> together on like a little biscuit. It is like weird that they even are allowed to call them and burgers, like yeah. it's not allowed. They do have a movie. Well, that's not that, well, like, yeah, I guess. It's, they do have their own movie. Right, okay, cool. it's Harold and Kumar <laughs> go to White Castle. Um, you can yeah. get a Crave case there, which is a cardboard suitcase filled with 75 burgers. Yeah, that's true. A hilarious party gag. Yeah, they have chicken rings, which is funny. Like, why would you serve chicken in ring form? <laughs> <laughs> Does that make any sense? I don't know, you can put them on your fingers, it's kind of like bugles, but I'm gonna go Kidoba. Facts. And I like that it starts with a Q, you know? That's fun, not too many things do. Quiznos and Kidoba and Quadeca. Smash Burger versus Del Taco. Smash Burger is like the one that, I thought their logo was like GameStop's logo. Maybe they got a new logo. What is that, a falling couch? It's a burger being smashed, because I think that's what they do over there. Oh, they smash their burgers. <laughs> yeah. Del Taco is whatever. It's like a bad Taco Bell. It's really bad. Yeah, no, it's bad. It's bad, but I've never had Smash Burger, yeah, and bye. I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna overpay for a burger that's been smashed there. That's just the vibe I get. Right, I like an unsmashed burger. Make it big and juicy. And Del Taco is, it's kind of like the fun alternative to Jack in a Box, because it's like Tex-Mex. You can get a burger and a taco. Yeah, that's true. You can get weird shit over there. You can get weird shit, and it's cheap as fuck. I believe they had like a- <laughs> It's like 80 cent tacos. I think for a while they were doing 49 cent tacos. Yeah, that's amazing. Because then mean, you can go with like six tacos for $3. I don't care what the taco is. I mean, get fucked. And Lil Xan owns a few of them. Really? Yeah, he owns a few Del Tacos on the West Coast. I mean, you say something. Let's go, Del Taco. Let's go, Del Taco. <laughs> and now we got Whataburger versus Jersey Mike's. I gotta go Whataburger for the exciting menu. You. When I pull up into Houston, H-Town, shout yeah. out H-Town, I go to Whataburger and it's like an event. Yeah, Whataburger I've never had, but I know it's a Texas thing. Their logo is insane. <laughs> like, why is it like this? <laughs> it's crazy. There's like, it's just so weird. Like, no logo looks even close to like this. It's almost trippy. Yeah, there's something odd about it. But yeah. Jersey Mike sucks, dude. It's like the weird kind of... He almost popped out of his chair over there. Jersey Mike's is fucking terrible. I like Jersey Mike's. I don't like it. I've had like six subs from there, every single one of them mediocre at best. I like their wet subs. You know how they'll wet them up with the oil and stuff? Yeah. It is a little overpriced too, and it's just a sub. Whataburger is like an exciting ice cream, burger, everything there, kind of open late. It's a better in and out honestly. Yeah, I mean, hey, I've never had it, but I'm gonna rock with Whataburger for the logo, and yeah. because I've never had it, and I have had Jersey Mike's, and it's not good. Grant's really mad because he loves Jersey Mike's for He's whatever He's steaming reason. and cracking his knuckles and loading it his guns. It's the best sub place in America. Chipotle versus Cookout. Oh! Fuck, this is actually so tough. Why does Cookout have to go against Chipotle? Chipotle makes my poop into a faucet. <laughs> Cookout is amazing. <laughs> Cookout is awesome, but it's just like not. You can get quesadilla as a side, homie. Chipotle is like a staple. Like I will have Chipotle. Like I had Chipotle two days ago. If there was a cookout next to Chipotle, you would have had cookout yesterday. No, cookout is not healthy enough to have all the time. Like Chipotle is actually very consistently good. And yes, it does do some things to your stomach sometimes, <laughs> but like, it's not like cookout's gonna make your stomach feel great. I don't know. You wash it down with a side of quesadilla, it might solidify things down 
down there. I don't know, dude. I'm gonna go Chipotle. I know that cookout's great, but peach cobbler. They got a peach cobbler shake there. It's so fun. I've only been to cookout a few times, but I've had great times there. And Chipotle has just ransacked my innards over the years. I'm going Chipotle. He's going cookout. Grant, what are you doing? I'm taking Chipotle. Yeah, you have to. Next we got California Pizza Kitchen versus Skyline. Oddly enough, a huge Cincy matchup here for me. Not that California Pizza Kitchen is from Cincy. That would be weird to call it California Pizza Kitchen if they were from Cincinnati. <laughs> but the screaming Sicilian came to play in Cincy. It did come to play. Shout out to Hauntus. <laughs> Absolutely. Big shout out to Hauntus. Skyline is, ah, oh, Skyline is so nostalgic though. We need to explain to people what Skyline is, okay? We <laughs> both went to school in Cincinnati yeah. and it is Cincinnati's signature. I wouldn't even call it really fast food. It's more of like a diner spot, but mm -hmm. it is like the food is like fast food and you can get it to go. But essentially it's a place that you go, you sit down, they serve you oyster crackers at the beginning, just a bowl of oyster crackers. And you kind of munch on those yeah. and decide what you're going to get. Then their signature chili is really just like chili on top of pasta, but it has this weird flavor to it that's like a little bit sweet. Cinnamon. Yeah. There's a little bit of cinnamon in it. I believe some brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Some people say it tastes chocolatey. Yeah. But it doesn't really, it's still savory. Yes. Like, it's kind of like Taco Bell with a little bit of a twist. Like I <laughs> have the same craving for Skyline that I do for Taco Bell yeah. at 3 a.m. when I'm like wasted. And they serve the little chili dogs as well with like a handful of shredded cheddar cheese on like a cozy, fluffy, plump little bun. Yeah, like those are three bite hot dogs. Like yes. you, they're wet and you're kind of like, um, 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 and there's so much cheese. They're so good. And they have their own hot sauce, the Skyline yes. hot sauce. And then you go, you pay at the register and everybody gets a York peppermint patty yeah. on the way out. It's like the experience of Skyline <laughs> is honestly magical. Yeah, like, it is. It really does feel magical when you go. <laughs> the food itself might not be great and it no. definitely doesn't make you feel great, no. but I love Skyline. It's beautiful. It's a great experience. So many blacked out evenings in there. Next, we've got Panera versus Penn Station. Oh, I didn't think Penn Station was coming to play. Yeah, Penn Station's kind of good. Get fucked on Jersey Mike's because Penn Station might be the best like sub place. Oh, that's the best hot sub place because yes. it's not like you can get a cold sub from Penn Station. No. It's got to be like a toasted sub. Mm -hmm. They obviously have the Philly cheesesteak. That's a big thing that they yep. do. And their fries are like, oh my God, you get a little cup of fries. They're so good. They cut the potato there. Mm -hmm. They make fresh lemonade. Yeah. Their cheese is like actually off a cheese block. They'll saute the onions. Everything is like very fresh. Me and my mother used to go to Penn Station on shopping out. I remember. You know, I mean, it always, I would always go get a chicken teriyaki sub with my mother. Unbelievable. Penn Station walks here. Panera is kind of sketchy. Panera, I, uh, it's like whatever because it's fine. It's healthy enough. I feel like it's a good option mm -hmm. to have, but they have such small portions. Shout out the bread bowl. They did invent that. Yeah. And they have like a great bakery. And their green tea, their iced green yeah. tea. It's Penn Station though. Penn Station. All right. Now we got Pita Pit versus Wawa. Shout out BG. The only place I ever got Pita Pit. It's not bad. It's kind of good. Wawa, it gets talked up a lot by East Coast folks. They all say Wawa is the best, blah, 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 blah. I haven't had great experiences there yet, but better than Pita Pit. Yeah, it is better than Pita Pit. It's like Sheets, like shitty cousin. The last sandwich I had from there did taste very much like cat food and I didn't like it, but I like the experience. The gas station, get whatever you want, make the sandwiches. And I saw a video yesterday of a Wawa getting just ransacked by like 80 people yeah. taking everything and the person working is filming it and there's a lady at the counter and she goes, are you going to keep filming or are you going to make the sandwiches? And the place is getting, it's like a riot in yeah. there. And she's like, can I get my sandwich? <laughs> it's hilarious. Wawa beats Pita Pit, but Pita Pit, you know, shout out. They did their thing. They did their thing. Keep doing your thing, Pita Pit. <laughs> Gold Star versus Wendy's. Ugh. Uh, here we go. Gold Star is like Skyline. It's yeah. another, it's competitor for Skyline in Cincinnati. Some people say it's better. They put like Fritos and Doritos on their shit. Yeah. It's not good. They have a burger. Wendy's, I like a lot. Mm -hmm. I think it's a, a great great option for that type of fast food. The yeah. chicken and fries, I take Wendy's over McDonald's. Kind of the OG great chicken sandwich too. The oh. spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's has been doing it for a millennia now. It is so classic. Over yeah. a thousand years. Yeah, a thousand years, it. yeah. And super cute logo. Yeah, Wendy Thomas. Yeah, Wendy Thomas. Shout out to Dave Thomas. Uh, I read your book. I'm very inspired. Thank you, Dave. A&W versus Papa John's. <laughs> Interesting. A&W, a root beer brand that also has little brick and mortars. That, yeah. They're not even brick and mortars. They're no. 
like oh. cabin setups <laughs> with, <laughs> where they serve food as well. I don't <laughs> understand. I don't want the food from A&W. I will drink their root beer and Papa John's is kind of kind of good. Ah, see, I can't go. I'm going to say other things have out pizza, the P Papa John's. Right. It is better than Pizza Hut. But a and is kind of fun. You always get the a and combo. It'll be a KFC with an A&W. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I thought you meant like every time you go to A&W, you got to get the a and combo. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. There's yeah. an A&W with a KFC. It's part of the Yum Yum family. Yeah, yeah, it's like locked in. It's like, hey, don't forget us. A root beer float is underrated at a fast food place, too. That's kind of exciting. <laughs> I'm going Papa John's here. I'm going a and I'll take Papa. Okay. Yeah, Papa John's is kind of, it's kind of a classic pizza place. And Shaq's an owner now. Papa Shaq. All right, Tropical Smoothie versus Five Guys. <laughs> wow, your healthy aunt versus your big fat uncle here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't have Five Guys because they litter peanuts all over the <laughs> restaurant for no reason. I know they cook everything in peanut oil, too. I can't have Five Guys. People say it's great. I like Tropical Smoothie, man. Me too. It's really good. Tropical Smoothie's fire. I, I used to get it a lot when I worked with your dad. Yeah. I would go over to Little Plaza, get a Tropical Smoothie. Their sandwiches are pretty good. Uh, I was emasculated for the first time at a Tropical Smoothie. Ah, how so? I, I dated a very rich girl when I was mm -hmm. a junior in high school. She was independently rich from mm -hmm. being a model. Mm -hmm. And she went, I went to Tropical Smoothie with her and she paid for everything. Mm -hmm. And that was the first time that we had gone on like a little mini date together. Yeah. And she paid for everything until we broke up. Wow. Would not let me pay. It was wow. kind of awesome, but also made me feel very odd. Yeah. I felt like I was very much- a Sugar baby. Yeah, I was like a sugar baby. Yeah. And I mean, I was older than her by a year, but yeah. like, I just thought we should have split it equally personally, but. <laughs> I'm going smoothie. Five Guys rocks, though, in my opinion. Yeah, people are not going to like that. People, no, they, like We were very casual about putting Tropical Smoothie over Five Guys, but yeah. like, I can't have it. I don't know yeah. what it tastes like. That's fine. And it's just burgers and fries, you know? Now we got last one, Umami Burger versus Starbucks. <laughs> Fuck. Umami Burger? You never heard of it? I've it, had it before. It's good. Vaguely rings a bell, but I've kind of turned the corner on Starbucks, and I'm starting to enjoy their food quite a bit. Anybody who watches us knows how I feel about Starbucks. I get it every single day. I love their brown sugar latte mm -hmm. with the milk. I love uh, the little egg bites. Mm -hmm. Big fan of a lot of stuff going on over there at the Starbucks Corp. <laughs> yeah. So I'm a hard carrying member mm -hmm. of the Starbucks family. And I would enjoy a hug from that sweet little mermaid on their logo. Oh yeah, she is sweet. Yeah. Starbucks. Starbucks. Second round. Let's go. McDiesel's versus Raisin Cane's. Don't joke yourself here. Don't kid yourself. If somebody asked you, do you want to go to Raisin Cane's? Or do you want to go to McDonald's? But it's a budgeting thing. I was going to say, they're going to pay for it. They're paying for it. Well, then Raisin Cane's. Yeah, Cane's is just better. It but just I, is better. Like McDonald's, I get. It's culturally important. Breakfast. They've got the little hype beast toys right now that everybody's so excited about. Breakfast. They have good breakfast, but I don't care. Raisin Cane's, I'm going meal versus meal. Raisin Cane's is way better than McDonald's. True, but the versatility and the budget of McDonald's and its impact, its lasting impact on America. And the world. World at large, but I ag I agree with you. Move it on. I don't just I, send it to Grant. If you got, you, I mean, it seems like you want to pick McDonald's. Let's not chitter chatter about it. I mean, come on. I'm going Mc Mickey Deezy's. I'm going Raisin Canes. I'm taking Raisin Canes. All right, That's fine. as long as the people know it wasn't on me. In and Out versus Dairy Queen. Slay Queen. I'm going in and out. I just wanted to say that. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say, I was like, there's no way DQ is beating in and out. No, but they do do the cute curl. In and out, while still overrated, it's definitely better than Dairy Queen. Yeah, Dairy Queen is like a failing business and everyone knows it. Dunkin' Donuts versus Piata. Piata! Yeah, Piata. Kind of like the underdog story here. Yeah, I like Piata going to that third round. Piata's fun. They have like, they have interesting things there. There's not another Italian fast casual place on here. No. You get a chicken parm burrito. <laughs> KFC versus Marcos. It's Marcos for me. That is a good ass pizza and Toledo pride. And I still remember the phone number of my local Marcos. I do too. 826. I can't say mine. It's too close to my parents' number. Well, no one would have known that. Well, they're going to guess They're going to guess around <laughs> it. People are going to start guessing around it. I'm going KFC for the double stack sandwich, the chicken on chicken. Never had Marcos. I'm going KFC. All right. That's fair. Kentucky fried chicken. All right. Taco Bell versus Popeyes. I mean, I'm go I'll am i ride T-Bell. T-Bell's is exciting. I, I have had some good times there, but I will say this. Bring back the fried apple empanada. Caramel apple empanada. Bring it back. Why would you get rid of that? They get rid of a lot of shit that they don't need to do that with. And the caramel apple empanada is one of the best of all time. I mean, oh my God. Just like you burn your mouth with those hot caramel. Oh! 
But the stuff that stays on the menu, let's talk about the mainstays real quick. Baja Blast, Cheesy Gordita Crunch, the Crunch Wrap Supreme. There are many loaded grillers. <laughs> the Cinnamon Twists, and I know they're not amazing, but they are a weird little delight. A mini churro, if yeah. you will. <laughs> they're literally like fried pasta with cinnamon. Like, like It feels like you're eating air, but it's like tasty little air. And yeah. it's like, uh, I believe it was one of the first places to have the fun coin game. Oh, I was a master at the coin game. I got banned <laughs> from a Taco Bell. I remember Because that. I used to beat it so much yeah. that they'd say, you got to stop coming in here and getting free food every day. Yeah. I would literally go and I did the tap method. Yeah, you Everybody would try to spin, whatever. You just go bing, 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 bing on the top little knob. Uh -huh. So it's one of those games where it has like a bunch of little four platforms, layers. like four platforms, and you drop a coin onto the first one. And then you have to get it to the bottom one, which is smaller and closer to the actual like rod mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. And depending on which coin you got on there, you got like a free taco, a free bean burrito, or cinnamon twist. Yeah. It's like a donation thing, whatever. Mm -hmm. I would just rock that game and yeah. get free food every day. Shout out Taco Bell. Panda Express, El Pollo Loco. I gotta ride the panda all the way to funky town here. I'll go Panda X on this one. I've only had El Pollo Loco twice. I've never had Panda Express, but I respect you. Thank you. <laughs> means a lot to me. Sheets versus Little Caesars. I mean, oh, we stood up for Detroit in the first round. It is the official pizza of the NFL, but yeah. Sheets is like, Sheets. If I see one, I'm going to Sheets. Yeah, and I'm gonna sheet myself. Right, you keep saying that. It's not really like a- Gotta take a Sheets, boss. Yeah, it's not really. <laughs> I don't like that that much, but. Oh, sheet. Yeah, I get it. It sounds like shit. I guess. Rasheed's Wallace. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Because same. that's like Rasheed Wallace of the 2004 championship winning Detroit Pistons. Now we got Wingstop versus Culver's. I mean, I don't I don't want to play this game anymore. Honesty is important to me. And listen, I love Culver's. Love it. I can give it all its flowers all day. I absolutely love it. But I like eating Wingstop more than I like eating Culver's. I just do. So that's my vote. And I understand that it's going to ruffle some feathers here. And I don't like to ruffle your feathers. Like I said, I do respect you. But who would I be to sit here and say I like Culver's more? I'd be some sort of fraudulent freak. If Culver's loses, I'm going to flip out. Grant? I'm taking Culver's, dude. <laughs> So good. Culver's is great. It's more of an experience. I, I totally get that. I'm just saying, if they have Louisiana rub at Culver's, then we can have a conversation. <laughs> they have a butter burger. I can't have burgers or butter, so. <laughs> Second side, we got Chick-fil-A versus Jimmy John's. You know what? I'm going Chick-fil-A here. Chick-fil-A is better than Jimmy John's. Yeah, the waffle fries do a lot for me personally. And the like thick chicken on their sandwiches is yeah. like really good, yeah. so. Not to mention the polite robots that they hire. Checkers versus Sonic. Ooh, kind of a battle of the shitsters here. Um, <laughs> I'm going Sonic. I mean, Sonic yeah. has the roller blade aspect and their tater tots are better than anything on the menu at Checkers. I've seen a lot of people on rollerblades in Checkers parking lots, but <laughs> right. they weren't serving. They were no. kind of just like tripping on well, acid. I think presumably. they were serving other stuff. Yeah. To, like they were going around car to car and serving some of that good shit. Yeah, that hard. Sonic. Thank you Checkers for what you did to me though. Mr. Beast Burger versus Kidoba. <laughs> Kidoba. Yeah. Yeah. No, Kidoba. Yeah. I'd rather have a burrito from Kidoba than have Mr. Beast Burger. As much <laughs> as the novelty will carry its weight for me. But. <laughs> the queso is free at Kidoba. Now you're doing the whole thing. Thing. You're doing the thing that they want you to do. The Chipotle thing. Glock is an extra over here. Free queso over here. It's nice. Stop falling into the corporate trap that Kidoba is setting for you. You sucked Mr. Beast off in the first round. Who fell into what trap again? You would suck Mr. Beast off too if there's a chance you were going to get $100,000. There's always a chance I'm going to get $100,000 if I'm sucking someone off. <laughs> Del Taco versus Whataburger. Whataburger. Come on. Del Taco, I'm sad that it even made it out of the first round. Yeah, I still haven't had Whataburger, but that freaky groovy little logo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Chipotle versus Skyline. I'm going Skyline. It means more to my life. Yeah, Skyline means more to my life as well. If Skyline didn't exist and Chipotle didn't, ex didn't exist, like, I would be more sad about Skyline not existing, even yes. though I eat Chipotle far more often. Yes, and this isn't about you. This is about us. That's true. Skyline means a lot to us. And if you haven't had Skyline, book a flight to Cincinnati. Easy. Terrible airport, by the way. Oh, but one of the worst. It's, it's in Kentucky. <laughs> it's awful. Go there, though, and then drive over and get yourself some Skyline and then talk to us. Yes. Penn Station versus Wawa. Penn Station. Yeah, I'm yeah, going Penn Station. Easily Penn Station. Yeah, it's way nicer. It sucks because they're like Penn Station is kind of like the phony <laughs> chain version of a Penn Pennsylvania place and everybody from Pennsylvania actually loves Wawa. Mm -hmm. Like we're picking the corporate copy of the thing over the thing itself. Isn't Penn Station a New York thing? Oh yeah. Like Penn Station. I guess I was just like, thinking like Pennsylvania. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Pennsylvania Station. <laughs> I think yeah. Penn Station's like a famous subway stop, like an area in New so wait, York. It's a subway ripoff? Yeah, well, I guess kind oh, of. Man. Yeah, I'm gonna go Penn Station though. Again, they've never served me cat food, which Wawa did in Florida. So. <laughs> right. And everybody knows cat shit much better than cat food. Absolutely. Wendy's versus Papa John. 
Don's. Wendy's. Yeah, yeah, easy. Yeah, Wendy's. They got Frosties. Tropical Smoothie versus Starbucks. I mean, I'm going straight on food here. Tropical Smoothie's food's way better. It's Starbucks. I mean, I go to Starbucks every day. There's no way I'm going to sit here and pick Tropical Smoothie. I also think Tropical Smoothie is a great idea that could be improved. Like their food, <laughs> like the type of food and the smoothies that they serve, great idea. Yeah. Let's take it to the next level. We need a better smoothie place to take over. Flavor wise, they could be doing a lot better over a Tropical Smoothie. And I got emasculated there. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Starbucks food is just really just like high quality microwave meals. And Tropical Smoothie is like a step up from that. I'm going to ride with the smoothie boys. Starbucks. Take bucks. Third round, Raisin Canes versus In-N-Out. I'll raise that cane. Yeah, we got to raise that cane. I'll Absolutely. snort it too. Yeah. Piata versus KFC. I like what I'm doing here and I'm voting for Piata. I'm going to go Piata too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. A cl- our classy little Italian like assembly line place that we're just riding for. I kind of like it. It's niche. I like it for us. It's exciting. Yeah. It's fun. All right, Piata. Get a mascot though, Piata. Yeah, it needs a mascot. Gonna need a mascot. <laughs> How about like a sexy buff Italian guy with a pencil mustache? He's wearing an apron, but nothing else. And it says pow on it. Pow. All right, Taco Bell versus Panda Express. The panda gets fucked here by the Chihuahua, so <laughs> let's ring that bell and live moss. We're all an example of the live moss lifestyle. Thank you. Cheats versus Culver's. <laughs> I'm going Culver's here. Good. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep it that way. Never truly curd about sheets. You know what I mean? Because of the curds that yeah, they the sell curds. At, sh- at Culver's. Culver's burgers are better than Five Guys. Yeah. Culver's like might be the best burger alive. Uh, Chick-fil-A versus Sonic. Give me the cows. They got to learn to spell though. It's annoying. I get that cows probably couldn't spell in real life, but at the same time, like it's not something you have to stick to. If you're going to humanify... <laughs> personify cows. Mm-hmm. So let's give them let's give them some spelling skills. Before Chick-fil-A was the friendly homophobic chain that it is now, mm-hmm. those cows kind of had like a chaos energy that I did like. It was similar to the Jack in the Box guys. Yeah, they had like red eyes and shit, right? It was weird and they'd like parachute in on stadiums and kind of like <laughs> Keto like terrify people out of eating beef. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> and yeah. I was fond of that. And then it became the Chick fil A we all know. Squeaky what? little clean, weird restaurant. Yeah. But Kidoba versus Whataburger. Gotta go Kidoba here, right? I've had Whataburger. Yeah, I'm gonna go Kidoba because I've had it and I do think it's very good. Whataburger's a great time. I'm taking Kidoba. Kidoba's great. That's fair. Skyline versus Penn Station. For some reason, I just read that as Skyrim this time. <laughs> mm, Skyrim. <laughs> I yeah. was like, oh, the famous RPG game. Man, this one kind of hurts, but Skyline. Skyline's way better experience. Yeah, yeah, I gotta go Skyline. Skyline making a run. Let's go Cincinnati. Let's, Let's go Bearcats. <laughs> that is the sound they make. Wendy's versus Starbucks. I mean, listen, I uh, I did my fair share of work for Wendy's back in the day. Yeah. Pleasantly surprised by the quality of the food and kind of just the way the organization runs once again. Thank you, Dave Thomas. But Starbucks is my one true love, my yeah. near and dear, mm-hmm. my baby. I'll ride Starbucks here too. Wendy's kind of sucks to me. Elite eight, we've got them. Let's go. Raising Cane's versus Piata. Piata's run's over. Yeah, Piata, we've got to put you in a nice little Italian bed and say, nighty night, bozo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> say hi to your mother for me. All right. Raising Cane's. And it's a golden retriever. What do you mean? That's their logo. That's their mascot. Their mascot's a golden retriever? Yeah, it was like the origin is like the guy who started it. It's, he put a picture of his dog in all the places. Oh, that's cool. They also have like a one love thing going on. It's like yeah. a box. Bob Marley theme yeah. in there. Like it doesn't look like it, but then on the wall, it's like one love. And Raisin Cane means like go crazy. Like you're causing a ruckus. Yeah. Taco Bell versus Culver's. Here is where it's going to get really, this is like our championship basically. <laughs> Taco Bell. Yeah. Let's talk about hours. When's it close? Late. How late? Fourth meal hours. 4 a.m. Usually. 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Let's talk about menu. Curds! Yeah, you got curds, okay. Curds for you. Americana. The cheesy gordita crunch. I understand you can't have a lot on the menu. Doritos Locos Tacos. It's a crazy taco. (laughs) Think of how the meat looks there. I don't care how it looks. Think about how it tastes. Hot dog food! If you put cheese curds inside of a taco, you'd also be like, what the fuck is wrong with this shit? (laughs) Root beer! How many times have you had Taco Bell versus Culver's, man? Less. No way. We're never going to agree. We're not. So Grant is going to have to decide this. I'm going firmly in the Taco Bell camp. And I will die for golfers. (laughs) 
I will take a bullet for Culver's. If I had a non-lethal bullet wound and it meant that I got Culver's for the rest of my life, I'm taking that shot. Grant. Oh, they're both so important to me. Think of which one you'd rather eat, Grant. Okay, yeah, I, I, I would probably rather eat Culver's. So I will take Culver's. Wow. Whatever, Taco Bell. I love you, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Maybe. My sweet, sweet Taco Bell. Maybe. You've done so much for me, sweetie. And I'm sorry it had to end this way. I did what I could to save you and you bled out in my arms. <laughs> All right, Chick-fil-A versus Qdoba. I don't know how Qdoba made it this far. Yeah, it's Chick-fil-A. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chick-fil-A is great. And Skyline versus Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Food sake, I ride Skyline. Yeah, I'm riding Starbucks here, though, because I just have to. I have a membership card. The baristas, they love me. Mm -hmm. Every time I walk into Starbucks, it's like I'm walking oh! into like a family reunion. I said I like the people. But you're telling me you'd rather have an egg bite than Skyline chili? No, I'm not saying that. Okay. I'm saying I'd like I'd rather have this drink that I have right here every single day for the rest of my life. And if Skyline didn't exist, I could survive like yeah. that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Skyline doesn't exist here. I, I can't get Skyline in Detroit yeah. and I've, I've survived. It's a bummer. I wish I could go to Skyline mm -hmm. with you guys. Like we all get plastered. We're at the club and then we pop over to Skyline. We have a great meal. We mm -hmm. go home filled with joy and a yeah, York peppermint patty. <laughs> I'd love that, but it doesn't exist here. And this I get every single morning. I wake up with the thought of this drink in my head. Boring. Um, Skyline. Starbucks. Skyline. Fine. Skyline moves on. I do love Skyline. It's okay. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> My sweet, sweet honey, I'm so sorry. It's two in one day. Two of my girlfriends bled out in my arms today during this bracket. I tried to save them. I'm CPR certified. I did my best. Mm -hmm. 30 pumps, yep. two breaths. 30 pumps, two breaths. 30 pumps, two breaths. 30 pumps of brown sugar syrup in that <laughs> coffee of mine. Final four. Raisin Cane's versus Culver's. I know what you're going to do. I'm going Raisin Cane's. I know it doesn't matter. Like it's not, it doesn't matter. Raisin Cane's, it's so consistent. Small menu, amazing chicken fingers. The cane sauce, we haven't even talked about the cane sauce once yet. Yeah, I know. That sauce is amazing. If they had that at Culver's, you would dip it every time. I would. I'm getting Culver's today. I'll go to Culver's with you. Okay. Culver's, Culver's, Culver's. All right, it's Cane's for me. This one's hard too. Yeah, Grant, I know because you're from Columbus and I know that Cane's is from Texas, but it is a Columbus thing. Yeah, it's very prevalent. It's so big in Columbus. The Ohio State frat. Fat Boy to Raisin Cane's pipeline it's crazy. is like a clogged toilet. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's fucked up over yeah. there. Fire on the Culver's. I'll take Culver's. Culver's it is, all right. Oh, it's hurts. Culver's, Culver's, Culver's. You made me, I'm so hey. Who's gonna go up against it? We've got Skyline versus Chick-fil-A. I go Chick-fil-A here. I go Skyline here. I just feel like I would rather have Skyline than Chick-fil-A. I'm going Chick-fil-A. This one's tough because the reason you get Skyline's a different reason than why you get Chick-fil-A. Correct. Yeah, Chick-fil-A you can get during the day while yeah. it's still bright out. And if you get Skyline while it's bright out, you're an idiot. You're correct. Like you are trying to kill yourself. <laughs> when I used to work construction in Cincy, we'd pull through a Skyline like drive through sometimes because the guys I were with, like foremen on a construction site would slurp down weenie dogs during the day. <laughs> you have to get the conies during the day though. You yeah. couldn't get like that sloppy um, pasta chili. Yeah. No way. I'm going to take Chick-fil-A. That That's hurts. fair. That yeah. hurts, but I'll take Chick-fil-A. All right, we've got our Chick-fil-A versus Culver's final. Before we say anything, mm -hmm. I'm going to, future me is going to put a poll in the chat. Culver's, Chick-fil-A. A lot of you haven't had Culver's. I have a feeling that the chat is going to vote a certain way, yeah. but I'm going to put it in there regardless. Also, in the comment section, not in the chat, what is your champion? What's your fast food champion? Drop it down there. Make your case. I'd like to see bullet points. I'd like to see explanations. Why is that fast food the best fast food? Cherished memories you've had with family and friends. Yes. Those work as bullet points. I want you guys to fight each other in the comment section. I will be down there. Culver's versus Chick-fil-A. I have my pick here and I feel like we are going to agree. Yeah, it's Culver's. It's Culver's for me as well. Wow. wow. I called it last night before I went to sleep. You did? I said Culver's winning this bitch. I voted against it many times, but I will say it's better than Chick-fil-A to me. If you haven't been to Culver's, get to one. Fly to Wisconsin. Do it! Culver's is the winner of our fast food bracket. What bracket should we do next? Should we do some beverage stuff, some fast food mascots, some cereal? What do you guys want to see us rank on a bracket? Get down in the comment section. Let's do it. Other than that, thanks for watching. We appreciate you guys and Graydon. Leave these people with some wonderful people stuff to do this things with. <laughs> Creativity without ambition is a bird without wings. All right, this has been High Mind Unlimited. We love you, we appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. And happy birthday if it is your birthday. Yes, have a good one.
number one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.